Welcome back to Golf DMV. And now that we're past this whole made up Valentine's holiday about, <laughs> although I guess there was a true St. Valentine. And, you know, well, here's the thing. I mean, if, if you're following the guy, I mean, he was murdered and beheaded and all this other yeah. stuff. And what do we do with this holiday? We give each other chocolates and cards and stuff. No, wouldn't it be a better use of the holiday if we actually found someone worth killing and beheaded them? And although I guess someone would argue that he's not necessarily worth killing. Anyway, let's move from this. Valentine's Day so Yeah, I don't know where that was going. What a, what a start. Yeah. Exactly. So you want to start the show. Uh, no, so welcome back to Golf DMV. Uh, we won't talk Valentine's oh, or uh, death or beheading, anything like that anymore. Uh, we'll just talk about golf uh, in D.C., Maryland, Virginia, and anywhere else we decide to play. Speaking of where we decide to play, we've got some trip stuff coming up. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, I, I think we're sure about where we're going and when we're doing it, I think. Oh, yeah. But there's just oh. some questions about the stuff. But we'll, 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 we'll talk a little bit about the Golf <laughs> DMV uh, upcoming trip uh, in, in 2022. Uh, what else is go- going on? Obviously, the AT&T, uh, AT&T, AT&T Pro-Am there in Pebble. We'll talk about that. The, uh, all the pros without the amateurs. Um, so we'll talk about that <laughs> tournament. Jordan Spieth, so close to victory. Uh, but he falls uh, uh, yet again. And, of course, LB will have his Manny Millions. By the way, brought to you in part by Cash A Spot Sports. Go to uh, Golf DMV. And you can check out more about our sponsor there. Um, let's start with the tournament. Let's start with AT&T um, Pro-Am. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't watch a lot of this. Um, I, watched, I, watched, I watched enough to feel like I wasn't really into it. I think Thursday and Friday opened around for whatever reason I was all mm-hmm. there. Then right. for some reason on the weekends, I just was like, ah, I don't know, man. Not I don't it. know about this one. Yeah. You know what it was? I think it was the uh, trash, the <clears throat> the reduced field. The, okay. the, the, the field wasn't, wasn't that Were great. Were you about to say the trash field? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I, don't know why, I don't know why I pulled back like, uh, like anybody cares what I say. The trash field, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was I, Oh, man. Was I wish I had pre- – uh, yeah, B-League pretty much. I wish I had prepared mm. – uh, prepared the stat, but they were just talking about like how many of the top 20 or top 25 or top 50 were mm-hmm. out because everybody played, was it Saudi? Uh, they did uh, waste yeah, management yeah. and it's Saudi mm-hmm. and they just kind of skipped this one and they're going to warm up, I think in the Genesis. Yeah. The Genesis mm-hmm. is this coming week. Yes. This coming week. Yeah. Warm mm-hmm. up that up for the, for the Florida swing to get ready for the, for the masters or whatever. So, and I was kind of uh, surprised because usually Pebble is, yeah, uh, am I missing something? AT&T is yeah. usually a decent field, right? Yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. But I wonder if there's something weird going on because of the maybe the scheduling being different. You know, well, although maybe. it's not different in 2022, though. I mean, 2021, right? It's it's now it's, it's the same. It was just 2020 that things were different. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, things are just weird. Things are happening. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, um, the story was, you know, okay, Jordan Spieth. Uh, just overall, he finishes in the top ten again in back-to-back tournaments, which is great for him. Mm-hmm. with this whole slump thing going on. Um, but, you know, he takes the, he has the lead on the final round and he ends up, you know, uh, not being able to win, to win this one. Daniel right. Berger wins it. And, um, you know, I don't know. I, again, um, we always talk about it with these golf gods. Jordan Speed's got to get it. And it's like, he's so <laughs> close to winning, you know what I mean? To winning yeah. one. But I don't know if winning one means that you're back, if that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. just like if he were to win Pebble, if he were to win last week, does that mean that he's back? If you're Jordan Speed, like, like if Ricky Fowler would have won, then yeah, he's back because he'll win. You know, he's only got what five wins on the PGA tour. Something like Jordan that, yeah. Speed dominated. And yes. so for Jordan Speed to be back, Speed has to dominate. You, you yes. know what I mean? And so right. all the stuff about, oh, well, Speed's back. Speed's back if he wins. No, he's not. He just won if he won. If he can get three or four wins this season, we right. won't know whether he's back until he, we can get a season's worth or a few months' worth of mul- multiple wins. Then it's like, okay, now Speed is back. Well, see, I don't, I don't know if I totally agree with that. I, I okay. think if he gets to a point where, like he was this week, I mean, if he gets to the point where he's constantly competing – I mean, before he was missing cuts. I mean, he wasn't even you didn't you, you didn't talk about him at all on right. on the weekends. Mm-hmm. If he gets to a point where he's making he's continuously making cuts and continually you know moving up the boards in the top ten, whatever top fifteen consistently. In my opinion, you know, I would say that's back because the thing that he, I think that the the that little run he had, and I call it a little run <laughs> that he did have. <laughs> um, <sighs> I dare say other golfers have had runs like that, kind of semi, you know, where they bubble up for a while. Yeah. You know, your name is constantly up front and then you then they fade out again. Um, So if he can just get back to being competitive again, getting back to his name, being mentioned on the leaderboard more than, you know, once every 
12 tournaments, then I, in my opinion, <laughs> then he's, I, I would say, quote unquote, back. Um, okay. But to the, to that point, I ain't miss him. So, uh, I mean, yeah, really. I really, to be honest with you. <laughs> what about you, bro? What's back for Jordan? So, Spieth? What did you notice about him this weekend? So, the just last real two quick, tournaments, really. Sorry, just real quick to clean it up and uh, give some context to the, the run that that uh, LB was talking about. Basically, it looks like from 13 to 17, from 2013, mm -hmm. um, in terms of PGA Tour wins, John Deere Classic, Valspar, he gets the two majors, right? Masters, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, wait. Was yeah, yeah, Masters yeah, in yeah. the Open? Yeah, yeah, Masters in the, in the, uh, in the Open or whatever. Mm -hmm. Then he's, you know, he, again, there's the AT&T in there, Hyundai, whatever. And then the last one, I believe, was the Open Championship in 2017. Mm-hmm. And then that's it. So it's been four years. So not right. a not a bad run, like LB said. And I don't know yeah. LB if, if anybody else has had a run of what well, he's got three majors, right? Yeah, Something yeah, three, like that, right. yeah, three Masters, right. yeah, Masters Open and and the and the. And the well, look series. at Brooks. I mean, Brooks did a similar that's thing true. like that where he won a whole bunch of majors. You know, within a, a two three year period, people was all this that and the other. Um, and then he went away. From, well, I don't say he. I'm gonna say he he didn't do a speech, but yeah, it's you not know, been he, four years, right? But About he did go away for you know yeah. he spent some time away. He didn't. He got hurt for a while. Mm -hmm. He he was he was playing. He was missing a lot of cuts or whatever. Right. And he came back and he started you know getting this getting the swing again or whatever. And uh, I mean he won what was last week I guess that was. But that was his first win in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, too, yeah. So. About about a I think a year and a half. Yeah, somewhere yeah, so. 2019. Yeah. I I agree with you, Claude. Though I I think yeah. I think Speed yeah. has to come back. He doesn't have to win a major necessarily but um i, I do think he like it, it, he can't just win this like he'd have to win this maybe skip a couple win another notch mm -hmm. a couple and then show that you're on the rise like okay your game is legit back because you could sneak in there win one of these and i and just looking at his thing i, I mean it's mm -hmm. uh, his record i didn't realize he's won this before the right, yeah. so a pebble beach that's the thing yeah. you talk about that dominant like for me the, the it, it, it in that four year span it's it's the three majors he won but then he won a ton of other tournaments mm -hmm. like like i mean he was he was dominant during, in that four year span. Yes. Um, Brooks uh, dominant in majors, but not so much in any in of the, the regular, other ones. In regular yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> by his own, just, by his own well, and, and to his, and to his mm. own credit, he doesn't really care right. about them. Right. So, <laughs> so that's probably why. But yeah, so, I mean, we'll see. I mean, it, re it remains to be seen, you know. Um, uh, but I, I almost feel the same way LB feels regarding what I, I guess, what I think about emotionally as a as a golf fan. I'm not really attached to Jordan Spieth at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, yeah. I, I don't have a feeling one way or the other whether he loses or wins. Mm -hmm. But I do. I am more so on the losing thing simply because of the whole silly golf guy thing that we talk about with him. Right. I mean, I just I feel like he never recovered after that second loss after that mm -hmm. loss at at the Masters, the Masters when yeah, he right. had it in his hand and he lost it. And mm -hmm. ever since then, I have not seen him play even. And I think he and he's won since then, but I hadn't seen him play with confidence since then. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. I mean, he was he looked so disturbed after that mm -hmm. round, putting the jacket on whoever it was after. Maybe it was Sergio, whoever it was. I think it was, think it was he looked so Sergio. Dis I mean, he was yeah. literally he was like shaking and mm -hmm. awkward and didn't know when to speak on camera and what to do. His, his <laughs> countenance was down and he was his head was, <laughs> was down on the floor. And you're just like. This dude really is uh -huh. taking this hard, you know what I mean? And because it might be, it might be the only time that um, that the that the past that he, someone was in that situation. I'm just trying to think. The the previous year winner always puts the green jacket on, but maybe right. they don't have it in their grasp and they lose it right. in such dramatic yeah, way, exactly. and they don't have time to process and breathe mm -hmm. and obviously grieve <laughs> their loss. And then do that ceremony. They gotta go right in there and do yeah. it, and that's hard to do. That's hard to process. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the funny things I like to think about with with Jordan. So I, to be fair too, I actually liked Jordan. I, and I told this to our buddy uh, <clears throat> Glenn this weekend. As much tra you know, it's fun to be like, oh, you know, here he goes falling backwards again, whatever. But before he said it, and I think I've told you guys this before. I think I told you, Claude. Mm -hmm. Before he said it himself, I was like, I like Jordan. This dude shows up for, for some of the same. I mean, he's a little bit different than Brooks. But for some of the same reasons where he wasn't a, a long hitter, um, what it wasn't kind of built like the rest of the guys on tour, but he would just show up and his short game, his mm -hmm. putting were so clutch. His he would, I like so this guy, he, he would hang back like in mm -hmm. a tournament and then mm -hmm. on Sunday, oh, there he is, oh, top five or whatever, and you have mm -hmm. to watch out. 
But then soon as he soon as he called the attention to it himself, forget right. it, even putting the golf grass thing aside, just for me, I'm like, oh, bro, don't don't lean into it. Like, yeah, well, right, you know, right. when I come up on the board, uh, <laughs> I strike fear. <laughs> strike fear. <laughs> no, you can't. You have to let others sing others sing your praises. So well, the funny thing about him, him like sort of showing up these last couple of tournaments, and this is something I wanted to get to for, before he started uh, uh, winning again. I just I wonder what it's like for him now at, at trying to get meetings at, at Under Armour because before before this last two weeks I feel like he would call on the phone and he would get the receptionist. This is Jordan Spieth. Jordan 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 Spieth, the golfer. Um, hey, hold on, let me, let me look it up. Google. So then he shows up. He shows up to the facility and like mm-hmm. walks in there and he has to like wait in the reception. They're like taking his banner down. That's me. And they're, they're, so they're like trying to be like, oh no, put it back up. So he's, put it back he's up. coming, he's coming. Yeah. So now that he's been in the top 10, now his, you know, his, his, his Under Armour representative is you know, reluctantly like, oh, this fucking Jordan keeps calling. He wants new gear. We keep sending the old gear now. <laughs> got stuff. Exactly, exactly. What's up, Jordan? Hey, man, no. No, 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 no. We, we got the stuff. We sent it. <laughs> it's all good, bro. It's all good, man. Relax. He's, he's, he's winning now, so they got to uh, recognize him. But yeah, no, I, I hope, you know, I don't know about, like you said last week, uh, LB, the, the announcer from Sky Golf was saying, mm. you know, the most liked. I mean, I don't know about all that, but yeah. Um, yeah. Especially you know, after I, that I, comment, I don't think he, I don't, yeah, I'd be surprised yeah. if he's the most liked on tour. Uh, but he's definitely been humbled now for four years. He's definitely been humbled. Yeah, but you know what's humbled. interesting, though? And, you know, I don't mean to brag on golf DMV. I don't hear anyone talking about like even when he made that comment, like no one in the golf world really talked about that moment. Mm-hmm. Have you guys heard anybody say anything about that? Because I haven't mm-hmm. heard anyone. I can't say that I no, have. Not at all. We've mm-hmm. been the only ones talking about that. Yeah. Huh, real weird. All right. Yeah. Anyway, there's tons of side stories also with this. Yeah. I guess we could talk about Daniel Berger, who, who won it. I think this is his yeah. second win of the season or second win. Um, I want to say it's his year. fifth. Uh, I want to say his fifth career win. I believe mm-hmm. it was. And he's a young um, guy too. Um, you yeah, know, yeah, uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah. And I got, I got Maverick from last week's uh, Manny mm-hmm. Millions mm-hmm. from last place to second place. He was uh-huh. a clubhouse leader. You um, know, and you know who was who was on Instagram uh, doing a lot of videos of Maverick mm-hmm. McNeely shots and stuff yeah. from from her phone. You know, watching television. Uh-huh. Danielle Kang. Oh, what's it? I don't know what that's all about. Me neither. Um, but maybe, maybe I'll ask her. I mean, as if I've got it directly. Right, right. But yeah, yeah no, she was she was cheering on Maverick. So yeah, that's cool yeah. I was I was shocked to see him because when at one point they said Maverick, and I looked at the TV like Maverick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when you when you said the text LBI, I immediately just said the car guy, and I had to yeah, like, go look exactly. it up. <laughs> right. You can look. I was talking. To, we was. I was watching. My, I think my wife came room or something. And I mentioned his name. And I told her the whole story about the kid, you know, one name being uh, was a Colt, Colt and yeah. and Scott and uh, Scout and uh, the other guy's name. Yeah, yeah I'm, Scout, I'm, I'm going back through the my notes now. Colt, yeah, Scout, <laughs> Maverick, and one other. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah. I forget. It wasn't a Pinto. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, but yo, all it was, these... Yeah, it was Ford Maverick, the uh, Dodge Dakota, the oh, yeah, Dodge Dakota. Colt, Dakota, and the Dakota. Jeep Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Scout, I'm sorry. Scout. Yeah. Deep yep. Scout. Those are the four, mm-hmm. the four boys. Ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, mm-hmm. Maverick doing his thing there. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, there's some young talent on. on oh, on what tour. about uh I'm gonna screw up his name. The the young fella, the 19 year old. Somebody say his name. Oh, probably. yeah. No, um, I know who you're talking about. I can't, yeah, but but Tia, I can't I think pronounce his last name. If I could remember what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know who you're talking about. Yeah, B H A T I A. That's his last name. Didn't he um, hit like 19 straight greens or something like that? Yeah, 18. Yeah, 18, 18. straight oh, greens. Oh, Oshkai, was... uh, but, uh, but yeah, yeah. But Oshkai. Yeah. I said yeah. Oshkai. I, I, I only know the first name because of the, uh, he's um he's been on a lot of uh, George Yankees' videos. Uh, oh, okay. Oshkai, okay. Batia, okay. Bataya, yeah, Batia. Yeah, but, Batia, but, yeah, I think, I think it's Batia. Batia, yeah. Batia, yeah. Yeah. Batia yeah. yeah, he ended up minus six, um, tied for tied for 30th, but he went, he was having a good, really good round. He went yeah. plus three on the last three holes uh, on Sunday, so that's kind of, Cause he, uh, yeah, that would have had. He was at minus minus nine. Um, good for him. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. But he ended up winning forty nine thousand dollars. He is, he's not an amateur, right? He can get paid, right? Yeah, he can get paid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, he yeah he got. Uh, but uh, so back to your boy uh, Nate Lashley. Oh, um, oh I feel yeah, so bad. Yeah, yeah. He's I, got an attitude. <laughs> yes, he does. But then <laughs> on the under the circumstances, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. he did. You know, he he could be mad. He should be mm-hmm. mad. I mean, he was so, mad. So one of the things a lot of people, you know, we all like to watch <clears throat> the pros get beat up like in the U.S. Open <laughs> or during the majors or some of these tough courses. Right. And, we, you know, I like him too. like the funny PGA puts out videos. Golf is hard and it shows the pros mm-hmm. struggling. Mm-hmm. And I love it. I will say 
for some reason, under certain circum, excuse me, for some reason, <laughs> under certain circumstances, alliteration. I'm not a radio <laughs> professional. Uh, <laughs> under uh, certain circumstances, I do feel bad for some of these guys when I watch certain when I watch certain things. And that putt, mm -hmm. that that four putt from was it 13 feet? Yeah, that was tough. That was, I didn't yeah. have the reaction of like, oh, look at this guy. I had the reaction of I had the same reaction of like when LB gets mad and pulls the flask out, and it's just <laughs> just like a real anger where we do you don't even want to say anything. You just get in the cart quietly. Uh -huh. I was just watching him, just like, oh no, like I didn't want to say, I don't want to say anything. Your playing partner doesn't say anything to you. Right, just turn around, yeah. don't look at him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't make eye contact. <laughs> yeah, because that was that was tough, bro. That was tough. Yeah, there no, was a was lot tough. of lip outs like that at uh, at Pebble Beach this yes. weekend. I noticed. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they had holes cut. What they was doing, man. Well, yeah. No man. Yeah, chill out. Other, other story, yeah. uh, Francisco. Did y'all see him? I, I was going to say that. And in yes. the other news of golfers uh, with bad shots, Francisco Molinari, yeah, took oh, that. Uh, the top. I don't know what hole it was on. It man. was the first hole of the Sunday, wasn't it? I think it was yeah. the first hole of Sunday. Where he topped 70, 70, 70 yards. yards. Right. But 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 I, I but it had that. a ball speed of 136 mile per hour. Oh, <laughs> that's the only reason it went 70 <laughs> in that crack. <laughs> it was like a laugh. I can laugh at that one for some reason. I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was for Lashley's because he because yeah. he was tied, he was tied for the lead, wasn't he? Yeah, or he was he was, I think the par the, the initial putt was to stay tied. So at worst he would have like went back one stroke mm -hmm. and you just jump back. Like yeah. oh, you, talk, you back to you back to Nate last year. Yeah. yeah, I think that's why yeah. that one hurt because he's like yeah. you're right there at the top. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, he went from there back to. Uh, I think he ended up finishing. Uh, shit, I don't even. Well, he won three hundred thousand dollars, but okay. that's our first trouble. But yeah, but that went yeah. way back. I mean, from mm -hmm. the second second place, which is what Maverick. <laughs> every time he makes me laugh, I say his name. Maverick <laughs> McNeely. He won eight hundred fifty thousand dollars. So that's what okay. second place. Okay, and that's where. Uh, where um Nate was at right, one that's point. That's where he right? was. Yeah. He's a fifth. Yeah. He's, he ended up fifth. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that that basically cost him a half a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's a reason to be upset. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Trying to get yeah. his money yeah. out here. Yeah. yeah. And then you got Francesco, uh Molinari. Uh let's see what other was some of the oh, other um gosh storylines to follow. I think that might have been it. No, we we got our, our boy Mr. Johnson. Kamayu. Oh, Kamayu. Kamayu. Yep. Kamayu. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, by the way, you know, um, good job with the PGA and, and uh, Golf Channel and CB. I mean, they're really, really, you know, uh, trying to put diverse programming on and cover diverse stories and things like that. Because here's the thing. We can complain about it. But then when we see the effort, I think we should applaud it, even if there are some things that seem a little cheesy and stuff like that. But they're right. doing a really good job of trying to. Yeah do that and kudos to a lot of the sponsors you know particularly um farmers insurance uh, and these guys for saying hey we're going to get a sponsor exemption for some of these guys to get them on on you know on tour and that's um or at least playing an event and and see what happens and so you know great job with the, but with them i was following him the first two days um mm -hmm. for the most part and i mean he didn't play particularly well you know he didn't no. make the cut he, uh didn't make the cut he and, shot 81 uh, and 77 on uh yeah tough conditions out there Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. conditions out there. Yeah. But I mean, shout out to him. He's going to be. He's going to get a chance to play Honda. Bay Hill, right? The Honda Classic. Mm -hmm. Um. So hopefully he gets. He's ready for that and can and can and can you know do better. And we still got Willie Mack up for I think this week for the Genesis. Yeah, the Genesis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they got a whole. They got a whole article about him on the PGA Tour uh, website about Willie Mack um, playing in the Genesis. Um. Just back to the fit, he was supposed the to come on the Golf DMV podcast a few months. Ago. He was. I mean, you know. You know who yeah. did though. You know Kamai Johnson did. And then he, you know where he ended up. Right. He ended up on SVP on Sports mm -hmm. Center. So this yeah, is right. folks. See? Yeah. So yeah, Willie, listen, I mean, you start right. here first. Stepping stone. Stepping stone. Well, you start start with your family first. Start with the culture, yeah, no, bro. <laughs> and then you can branch out. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yeah. Just a, to, to just a couple points. Um, so Mr. Johnson finished. Kamayo finished uh, at uh, plus fourteen. John Daly, just for notes, was uh, plus thirteen. So yeah. mm -hmm. he was mm -hmm. he wasn't that far back. And I think Phil was twelve or something like that, yeah. plus twelve or plus eleven or something like that. So he wasn't he was in good company. I said that. <laughs> <way>. <laughs> Phil, champion champion store time. I mean, we say it all the time. What's up, bro? Yeah, yeah, because he's this last few terms, he really don't look like some trash for real. Yeah, it's really um, time for Phil to just go ahead and, and embrace that that uh, uh senior tour, that champion tour. Come just out for the it, masters, man. yeah, come out yeah. for the couple for the few majors or whatever, yeah, and yeah, they just, yeah, just make yeah. your money, yeah, yeah. That's what because that's like what Davis Love does. I mean, he comes mm -hmm. out, even Freddie cu Couples, he'll come out for the masters, they come out for the US Open, those kind of things, but they spend the majority of their time on the champions tour beating up on each other over there, and they got no cut line. You know, so you, that, play, play, play all the majors, 
Mm -hmm. uh, play some tournaments that you like at courses that you like. Right, right. And then that's it. Like, why are you yeah. coming out here finishing close to last? Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> isn't there one... likes Pebble, but... Yeah. Yeah. That one tournament is actually, he's a title... Not, I almost say he's a sponsor, but he's the spokesman for or whatever. Um, if it wasn't this one, it may have been the one before that. It must have been the... Uh, uh, wasn't the waste management. So maybe it was the one before that. Then, oh, uh, uh, does the workday do one? Because he does a lot of workday stuff. No, uh, I don't so. think there's a sponsor, but I think it must have been the one. I'm looking through my notes. Was that one? Got maybe it's the American PPG, Express. He was the uh, LPGA. Thing. He was the he was he was the spokesman for you know because the host. That's what I'm mm -hmm. the host. Because like Tiger hosts, you know, certain tournaments as well. That sure. kind of thing. I think, yeah. yeah, yeah. Show up for those, man. Yeah, or let's do this yeah. many millions. Okay. Um, so Manny Means for the AT&T Pebble Beach Classic uh, was Mr. Wes Roach, who finished plus five. Okay. Uh, not for, I wasn't really familiar with him. Um, and after this, you probably still won't be familiar with him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a lot of information on Mr. Roach. Um, six foot three, 185 pounds. He's 32 years old. He's Thank married. You. One rug rat. Originally from uh, Knoxville, Tennessee area. And I believe he still resides there. He went to Duke. Uh, majored in sociology in 2011, graduate, I believe. Um, let's see. So this season so far, just some little tidbits. Uh, he's out of four events, he's made one cut this season so far. So in 2011, he went pro and uh, did the Corn Ferry Tour for, in 2012. And then he joined the PGA Tour in 2014. All okay. right, here we go, fellas. All right. Mr. Wes Roach <laughs> has uh, zero wins, zero okay. second places, All right. one third place, mm -hmm. five big top tens. Okay, out of eighty-two events, he's made exactly forty-one cuts, which is, I, by my math, is fifty percent. Mm -hmm. um, Very good. <laughs> it was so easy. <laughs> it was right there in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> what is his career earnings? He joined the, the PGA Tour <laughs> in 2014. <laughs> It's the winner Bird last ready. week. I'm going to let Claude. No, no. I'm going to let Claude go first. I want Claude to go first again. Okay. 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 Only um, a third place and a few top tens. Got it. One third I'm going, place, five top tens. I'm going 4.3 million. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come in a little lower than that. I'm going to say like two and a half million. 1.9 would wow. be the exact right. number. Mm -hmm. yep. That's right. <laughs> the burn wins again. Um, He's back on his winning streak. Folks. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Well, you, I don't know if you peeped this, Claw. All he does is let you go under what I do. Yeah. And then you just go under what you do because you don't know how to pick. <laughs> Straight <laughs> down. No. Uh, That's the strategy. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty simple. Um, so Mr. Roach, some of the some of his uh, notes in his uh, profile I found. He enjoys watching Derrick Rose play basketball. He enjoys That's very game. specific. When? I know. That's very specific. <laughs> exactly. I, I like, enjoy watching Derrick Rose, Rose play, basketball. play basketball. Right. No one else. Right. Not now, yeah. right now. Nope. He didn't. Nope. He just said Derrick Rose. So does I, he refuse okay. to watch anyone else play basketball? <laughs> yeah, like no. Like does he watch LeBron James? Like is there right, anyone else? Right. Does he have a special team? Nope. He yeah. it said he enjoys watching Derrick Rose play basketball. It didn't say on what team or anything. Just as long as it's Derrick Rose, he's, the he's watching 2011, basketball. 2011 NBA season on on tape, and he just watches that. Over and over right. Again. right. <laughs> yeah. How Talk did he find Derrick Rowe? Yeah. Like, how did – well, that's, that's the whole – Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, curious. Yeah, there's so many questions. There. Right. And he, <laughs> did you oh, watch basketball well, prior to Derrick? Would be, then Rose went to uh, Memphis, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Memphis is in Tennessee, correct? So maybe – maybe there yeah, maybe – There's the there's a connection. I just okay. Out. Repping okay. for yeah. the homes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But Derrick's uh, not from Memphis. He, well, that's true. He enjoys vacations as long as it has a beach. Um, and he's never been to the state of New York. I don't know why that's important, but that was in his profile. Nice. Uh, so he's also, so he's mentioning this stuff. Like I've never been to New York. Yeah, uh, yeah, I like yeah. the vacation somewhere where there's a beach. It's gotta I be like to watch yeah. Derrick Rose play back. He's a yeah. very specific guy. Yeah, yes, he is. He likes like, Derrick Rose. He likes to watch Derrick Rose play basketball. <laughs> if he's gonna go on vacation, there has to be a beach. Be a beach. Yeah. And for whatever reason, he doesn't he's go to been, he doesn't go to never New, been York. New York. No. Okay. Never been in New York. Said like his favorite sort of like it's Istanbul or something. Some sort of like I've never been to Morocco or New York. Right, okay. right. <laughs> he won't drink Coca Cola unless it's vanilla Coke. Right, <laughs> and know? only with a straw. And only with. <laughs> <laughs> if you get hot wings, you better have it with with ranch. Don't come with the blue cheese. Oh it's got to be ranch. All flats. Very specific guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah all flats. 
<laughs> um, so his favorite golf courses are uh, the Holmes Course in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Pinehurst Number Two Ooh. in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, that's all I have on Mr. West Roach. All right. Speaking of Pinehurst at number two, we're, we've got a couple trips brewing here. Um, <laughs> and we've got two different people organizing the trips. <laughs> um, and so I get well, well, I guess we'll, well, let's start with let's start with Bandon, because yes. post the boss golf. song, we were talking about these courses he's been to and stuff like that. I've always but Bandon's one of the courses on like my bucket list. I want to go to Bandon and I want to play all those courses out there. Um, uh, and, and so we were like, hey, I, I don't even know how this started. Were we just, was, were, were you and I texting for, were the, was the group texting and we like to do a trip, let's do band? I don't, I don't know how it I don't started. I know how it started. All I know is, I, no, I think Vern just pulled, I thought he just pulled it out of his ass, but I was with you. Cause I was like, <laughs> where did this come from? You know, it's like no, one day I think it's, was it's, the next it started, day we're going to abandon. It started like, with what? me. I think it started with me and Claude. And then I thought, okay, okay. now, now to be fair, I'll be, <clears throat> I'm inspired by you. Right. Because uh-huh. you are the one you and, and Clark can back me up on this. LB is the uh, LB is the king of like, if you're sitting around like, hey, you know, I don't know, we're going to go to the state fair in Kentucky. And he's like, cool. When is the next weekend? Bam. When we get home, he's going to have five texts out like, here's the here's the flights. Here's what it costs to get there. Here's this. Mm-hmm. Who's mm-hmm. really about that action? And right. then yeah. that's yeah. when people stop. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay. I was like, okay. I was like, you know what? Instead of talking about it, let's be about it. Because mm-hmm. yeah, Claude and I it started with you and I texting Claude, and I was just like, well, let me just see what this would be. And I was like, well, the hell with it. Let's just ask the group if they want to do it, and now we do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. And so we've got this thing planned for Band and Dunes in 2022, mm-hmm. August 2022. Mm-hmm. Um, plans are set up, deposits made. The group has dwindled down to, mm-hmm. <laughs> to, to a few. Yeah. Um, uh, but 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 it's fine with me. I mean, I. Like I said, I was like the the moment Vern was like, you know, I was like, sure, I'll do it. I'll pay the, the whatever we got to do because I I I, I want to go and I want to play, you know, uh, play those courses. So, um, but anyway, so LB had a few questions and stuff because this is what LB, this is what LB. So because he's so specific and detail oriented, yeah. he'll ask, well, what about this? What about that? Have you thought about this? Well, how come this costs this much? Well, how come you know what I mean? And so he's going down this list, and he's got notes of his thoughts. I think right, LB, about this whole band and well, thing. yes and no. Um, most of them I have in my head because I didn't write anything down. Um, the first thing was the cost, you know. And, it, and with people, if you don't know, it is in a very it is a it is an expensive golf trip. You know, mm-hmm. I've I've done plenty of golf trips, you know, all over the country, and uh, this by far. <laughs> will be one of the most expensive golf trips mm-hmm. I have taken today. Um, and I mentioned that to Vern, I said that alone is going to really diminish the amount of people who can go, who will, you know, say kudo can or would, however you want, whichever the verb we want to use in there, but it's going to definitely de- diminish the amount of people that's going to go. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the other, other couple of things about it, you know, going Monday through Friday as opposed to over a weekend so people can save some vacation days, you know, being considered everybody don't have vacations like you might, you know, I mean, you can take days off, those kind of things you have to consider. I'm just saying that's <laughs> yeah, something I, I consider you do, you do. when I put together a trip. Yeah. Um, but the, the kicker for me right now is walking. That brand Bandon Dunes, oh I went to the website today <laughs> to confirm that. Because what I was actually looking for, which I have not found, is what do they do for people who actually have a physical handicap and want to uh, play that course? They give them a card. Oh, they do get a card. Yeah, if you can get like a doctor's note, okay, they give you a the, the, the medical exemption. They'll yeah. give you a card. So I just want to stand in here. I just want to okay. now I want to lock in and just defend a few things. So okay. as, as the planner, <laughs> I do think I should have come because because like when I try to plan something, I just want to get like to the top line summary immediate to mm-hmm. get because like like LB says to get rid of the the chaff immediately. Like oh I I want to go to Bandit Dunes. Cool, this is what it's going to be. It's five days. It's, oh you know what I can't do that. Bet. So I should have okay. put the total cost up like on the, in the top line initially. Yeah. I made everybody add it up themselves, which that so that, that's on <laughs> me. Um, but outside of that, I think I think it's actually an easy trip to plan, sort of, because there isn't there isn't anything. Bandit, right. I feel like the, the resort itself is just like cool. Look, we built five golf courses out here in the middle of nowhere in Oregon, mm-hmm. and there's mm-hmm. a, a hotel and we got some restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's it. Yeah, that, the that, thing that's, is, that's, that's and, and, that, and that's the thing. Me. So there's two things about the cost with Bandit. Um, <laughs> that doesn't bother me in, in, in the trip itself. Um, number one is because, so like it's, it's, it, it's, 
it's a all almost like so you don't have to go anywhere else if you don't want. To. I mean, you've got the resort there, you've got right. restaurants, you got all these courses. It's all there, and it's I forget how many, but the uh, they've got several courses in like the top one hundred, yeah. and, and and all five it, of them, all five yeah. in the top one hundred. See, mm-hmm. and so it's it, it's like if you if you're going to pay money this these courses are the ones you want to pay for you know what i mean like you don't want to pay all this money and then find you know some nice but somewhat random course you know in you know tampa or right. you know um you know anywhere else you know what i mean right. yeah it's somewhere where you where <laughs> right you pay... you, <laughs> no 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 that's not coming for lb I'm, i was just because people go to florida to play golf that's all no no <laughs> The point is, the point <laughs> is, it, like, like, there's no way in the world I would pay that much money to go play a nice right. but random course. Yes. It would have to be, you know, like if we were going to go to Wisconsin and play Aaron Hills. It's like, um, it's like okay, that you go, you know, you, you know, you're going to spend money, but it's a, right. it's, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. It's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. the course that it is. And so I think that, but then uh, number two, um, with the cause, uh, I feel like, I mean, we're planning it far enough out, you know what I mean? Because yeah. to me, it's like, I feel like Bannon is probably, I, I think of it as two golf trips in one. You know what I mean? Like, because just the level of the course, of mm-hmm. the courses that are there. And so I see yeah. it as two. So I split the cost in half, like, and it's a week. And so I'm like, if I were to do two golf trips um, that were, you know, three days, two nights, uh, and combine them, the cor- the cost is probably the same you know, no. or close to the same. No. But, well, maybe not one. <laughs> it was like, no, not one. But no, I mean, this no, is the not. way that I divided it. This is the way that I divided them. Well, Whoever well, makes pot- you sleep well at night, Claude. Is, is it Pinehurst 15? <laughs> That's about 15. Yeah. So for, for those who don't know, it's about yeah. it's 31. It's about it's basically three stacks to stay and play. And the right. last thing I'm going to say. And you haven't defense. gotten there. Okay. Uh, you still got, no, you, still got no, you haven't. No, yeah. You got to eat. Still got to eat. Yeah, well, that's on you. I mean, you should bring your own food. I'll bring some ramen. I don't care. Look, listen, I can't baby. You. Bring a big bowl of chili like Kelvin hey, did the Myrtle Beach. Hey, that's, the, you know, like the home studies used to do. You, can, you know what I'm saying? You could drive there if you want. Do you want to come there and stay and play some golf yeah. and get your bleep headed to you in the wind in Oregon? Mm-hmm. That's all yeah. this, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. uh, the only other thing, for the week thing too, LB, I did, I'm, I'm totally with you. Usually we try mm-hmm. to roll them into a weekend. The only reason I did this like this is because this is, when we, when we finish, Mm-hmm. We'd be tired. We'd be exhausted. So in my mind, I was like, cool, when we leave, I don't think you want to be arriving home in the middle of the, cause you're going to have to take, cause then you're going to take leave anyway on Monday, Tuesday, right. Wednesday. So right. I was like, maybe if I cap it on a Friday, you've got Saturday, Sunday to, to recover, co- to recover. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to go, to be able to go back to cause I'm with you on a normal <laughs> yeah. golf trip, Thursday, Thursday, through sun, uh, Thursday through Sunday. That's the, that's right. the move. I'm, I'm, yeah. I agree with yeah. you hundred percent. And then look, and then okay. from a value perspective, like Claude said, I think it's just that if it was, if it was like two dope courses and like three regular, I'm with you 100, mm-hmm. and I'm with Claude. Like, ah, uh, you know, maybe if I'm if I'm in Oregon one day, I could sneak. Right, I'm in Cali- too. I'm California. I'm, I'll just shoot up there and play. Exactly, I'll just shoot up there and, play, and play it too. But because all five are in the top top hundy, and then Sheep's Ranch isn't even. Uh, I don't think that's been uh, rated just yet. Or no, mm-hmm. it is. It's 80th, I think, and it's moving up the charts. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's based. So you're looking at like about six, about five to six per per round, essentially. Mm-hmm. I'm good with that. And it's, it's like, like a bucket list thing. And the other thing is I'm only, I, I legit feel like there's a chance I could only do this once. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe. Right. Yeah. definitely you and Rodney. Yeah. Nothing. No, 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 just keep it <laughs> yeah. It is. It is yeah. what it is. Yeah. I mean, cause like I said, when I, when you text that it was walking only. Yeah. That totally blew me. Cause I'm like, I, oh, I mean, be just right. think about this. I mean, just seriously, because mm-hmm. <laughs> you're going to get up, you're going to play around the golf, you're going to mm-hmm. walk it. Yes. And, and one day car. we're playing too. Yeah. Well, you, again, <laughs> y'all might be playing too. I know I'm not playing too in the same day. I'm tell you that now. Okay. I'm not even going to I ain't going to fake on that at all. Oh man, uh, the sheep's ranch. <laughs> yeah, I went all that way. I'm sitting in, sit the actually no, with, actually with no, mercy. no, no, no. You play the afternoon round with us. Don't play the morning one. Don't play old Mac. Don't play old Mac. But that's that's a side thing. We can, okay. we can talk about that well, later. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not doing two in a day. <laughs> okay. Um. And I got to, and if I got to walk, and if I, well, now that I know I can possibly get a note, so I get a card, oh. that cha- I might change things. Now, mm-hmm. if I can, and I know some doctors, so I might. Well, I mean, oh. Dr. Smith is the official <laughs> chiropractor. <laughs> chiropractor <laughs> golf, dude. And How many this letters point, a personal can you friend of mine. So, yeah, maybe maybe I can get a note. Um, <laughs> you give LB a note, we'll leave you alone about the wedding. We won't right. come. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but the whole walking part, and I, I, I'm curious to see how you all will perform on day three. I'm gonna be ready after mm-hmm. walking those the previous days, because I. So just, just so you know, tonight I don't normally do cardio. Okay. Um, 
But tonight, <laughs> tonight I did three miles on my elliptical. There we right? go. And I never do cardio. Mm -hmm. It's probably mm -hmm. the first time I've used it. I know it's the first time I've used it this year in 2021. Because <laughs> I don't, I just don't do cardio. I do, mm -hmm. I try and do other things to get my you cardio. You pump iron. Mm -hmm. Well, I try and do it at a fast pace, kind of hit routine, mm -hmm. uh, high impact interval oh, training. Yeah, yeah. Type thing. Like cross I do the top. Yeah. yeah, I kind of do that stuff. Um, but tonight I actually did three miles on 22 minutes. <laughs> on nice. the elliptical, just to try to get my mind around this whole thing and see how my hip is going to hold up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because that totally blew me away. The, the walking part, I was like, oh, I'm not going. <laughs> yeah, he texted me and I was like, damn. Like, never yeah, I'm not, I'm not going. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it takes the fun. Well, I can say it takes the fun out of it, but that's a whole different. That's a whole different animal. The one mm -hmm. day is one thing. Like we've walked. Uh, remember, we've walked courses here. We walked Laytonsville. We walked. Uh, Paul's, Paul's Road. Road, you know, we walked courses before, but we've never walked three, four days in a row. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to, I, I would like to see us do that this summer when we can get some time together, put sure. four, put three rounds up there over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, how we work it out nice. and walk all of them and just see how you feel on, the, on that third day. See how your mm -hmm. game performs on the second and third day after walking those other days. I'm just curious, I'm, you know, because I, I think that's something that we uh, by we, I mean you two, are, <laughs> by, are really underestimating the fatigue. That that's As a matter of generate. fact, I'm not. So just like you, I don't do cardio. I'm buying a mm -hmm. bike. I'm going to get a bike. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be okay. ready for Bandit. Right. So I'm going to get a bike. And the other thing that I looked at too mm -hmm. is, because I, I didn't take it lightly either. I mean, five days is a long day. When I watch these vlogs from guys who are, like there's one by uh, Eric Anders Lang from the random, from I think Random Golf Club, very popular. Mm -hmm. he, he just did it, I think, maybe eight months ago and in two and a half days and he is the same age he's 30 he was 39 i'll be 39 when when we mm -hmm. go um and that was like that was five and two and a half days and he was like oh man this is crunchy i'm tired everyone says every all the reviews i've read from even older gentlemen who play the game from like further up and stuff like mm -hmm. that it's built say it's, it's built for walking and you have the cat you know we'll have the caddies there uh, carrying mm -hmm. the bags you know you're, you're definitely gassed probably after day three right. but it's, i don't think it's the same as like a falls or, or some of the courses around here that, it, well, some of them were built for walking, but not necessarily. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. I, I get the sense that uh, they, they kind of planned for this or whatever uh, mm -hmm. uh, there, and it's, it's not as bad. And that's the biggest thing is like, if there's going to be, you know, older guys, you know, 50, 60 year olds out there taking this trip and they can do it. I was like, I, 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 th I think over five days I can hang. Cause again, we're only doing a single course a day and right. I have them spaced out afternoon, morning, and then afternoon, morning again with the okay. times and stuff. So, okay. Yeah, but, but I agree with you. I think if we, if we do it this year, I will definitely be get, especially because it's going to be hotter here too than it will be in Bandit. Because there you're looking at like, mm -hmm. you know, come August, you're looking at, you know, 50, 60 degree, uh, or I'm sorry, mid, uh, mid 50s, upper 60s for, for temps. Yeah, a little, little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, a little okay. bit windy. So yeah, yeah, you're not going to be sweating or anything like that. I'm sorry, folks, if you guys have to listen to the Bandit, uh, the golf team, the Bandit <laughs> planning trip. This is a meeting we're supposed to be having off live. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure people have gone through this themselves. I'd love to hear people's opinions. I mean, hit us on Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Also, uh, the email. Just go to the website, golfdmv.com. Hit contact us. I'd love to hear what people have done when planning this stuff or if you've mm -hmm. been to Bandon, what do you think? Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to hear what, 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 as far as that's going on. But LB, you also have something going on at Pinehurst, right, that we're right. trying to do. Yeah, so... So this trip we just talking about Bannon is in 2022. Mm -hmm. We don't have anything on the books for 2021. Um, I've been trying to go all the season, but nobody wants to go but me. <laughs> Everybody else is afraid of the COVID. So, <laughs> so the closest we've gotten so far is the end of this, the end of August of this year, going to Pinehurst. But as we were starting to record this show, Vern reminded me that normally we normally go to Myrtle Beach at the same time. Uh, with Coach uh, Coach B's group, uh, they go to Myrtle Beach every year to that last week of the month, and we were supposed to go last year, and we didn't because of the COVID. So that got pushed to to get to this year. So uh, so Pinehurst might I don't know when we do Pinehurst now, um, but it was also oh, now we're thinking Pinehurst. So now well because we we normally well I, not say normally but we went twice once or whatever with we Coach. went once. But the thing is we we've, we've paid we've all paid I think deposits. So oh, right, we did pay. They, they, yeah, we did pay, and they, they kicked it over. They said, "Hey, we'll just give grant it for you next year." Right. So, okay. So, so yeah, money down, yeah. money down. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think it was a lot of money. I mean, if we, it really, it's like hundred dollars. I think yeah, it was a bit more. But still, I mean, money. But yeah, I mean, I enjoy I enjoy his group his trip in, in that as well. Um, Me too. 
yeah, those those trips are fine. And and for me, the upside too is you're in a in a place where you can actually do other things than play golf. <laughs> you can actually go <laughs> go somewhere else and have dinner <laughs> and do other things, but just play golf and be hostage. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) well that's another thing to consider though i mean when you're putting together these trips that yeah i think lb thinks about you know when when you're according i mean listen i I remember talking to lb like man you could almost do this as a side hustle put together trips for golf Mm, trips for people because you really do consider everything for me uh it wouldn't matter you know i mean what else is a, is, a, is, a, is available. I would think, I don't know, it could just be the way that I think of, okay, cool, golf trip, we play here, play there. To me, it's, it's about golf, but that's really important for a lot of people. You know, Yeah, it is for me, at least, because I like oh, it. So for you, if, you like if I'm going to go to a city, especially somewhere I haven't been before or spent any, any amount of time there, there I want to see some other things that the city or area has to offer. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and like, again, for I hate to keep picking on Bandit, but from what I, from yeah, what I read. Small town. Yeah, ain't Jack out there. I mean, no strip clubs, you know, reps, restaurants or anything. You know what I mean? You have to go to the go to the neighborhood Home Depot to, to see any women, probably. And you know, what's, what's the hell? You know, Two of the three things he said was the pub, then restaurant, then Home Depot to see Home women. Depot. I mean, from where I'm just saying. So, I so I think it's a, it's an outdoor space, basically. Is what LB said. Because I was looking up to, I was like, what would you do if you didn't play golf out here? And it is for like people who like to hike and go into the woods not right. for golf right. hey they love it and you got and <laughs> yeah. you got the coast there and you know super picturesque but that's right. not why right. i'm there yeah. well yeah so that's so that that's going to be the the epitome of a you know in hard letters golf trip mm-hmm. because there ain't no, jack right, else right. to do but yep. play it. play golf and mm-hmm. you're gonna be tired because you walked all day so mm-hmm. you're gonna spend whatever morning or evening you time you have free recuperating from mm-hmm. the previous day's golf, so you can play again the next day or that <laughs> or that or that day. So you won't have time to do anything else because you can be exhausted. At least I'm speaking for myself at this point because I've I know myself when I when I play golf and especially when I walk, um, the person related to me by marriage knows. Oh, he done for the day. You know? <laughs> <Not doing anything. laughs> Don't ask for anything. <laughs> right, exactly. We're not going to dinner. We're not doing nothing. I'm taking a shower and I'm laying down. Him. Exactly. <laughs> you better get it on the way home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to any of those emails coming in. I want to hear what people have to say about that. But yeah, a real personal look at the golf DMV situation <laughs> these trips on this episode uh, uh, of the show. That's all I've got. Any other odd and end golf stuff, guys? Um, um, we did talk about Willie Mack playing next week, right? We did mm-hmm. talk about Willie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good um, luck to Willie at the Genesis. Yep, yeah, at the Genesis. I don't know who else is in the, Is everybody... By everybody, I mean the, the the top twenty players. Are they coming for the Genesis uh, next I week? I have no idea who's in. The yeah, field. I don't know what the field yeah. looks like. Uh, the the buzz is that they're expected to to warm up at the Genesis, though. So we should see some. Okay, some I'm running down the there. list now that I've said it. I'm running down. I see uh, Patrick Cantley, Cameron Champ. Okay. Uh, da, 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 uh, DeChambeau. Uh, top Great. ten. Tony is back. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ricky, <laughs> Ricky missed the cut. Followed. Did he yeah. miss the? Yeah, he missed the. He missed the cut, cut this week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. The hated Sergio was bad. Jim Furyk, uh, Jim Lucas Furyk. Glover. He's he's in the field. Right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's oh the, yeah. Uh, Go ahead. While, while LB looks that up, I was gonna say if anybody was looking for, not that anybody was, but the 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 gambling this week was off. I I, I called off the oh, bets because right. I, I went into into my my little online site. No odds that I liked. No, win. I just didn't trust any of these people. We had Nate Lashley up there. We Patrick Patrick Cantley was like maybe the closest, and he ended, he did he didn't end up winning anyway. Mm-hmm. So I I couldn't find I couldn't find any good anything so like, that you yeah that and, that, like that, that and the fact that Spieth was in the top. I was like, mm-hmm. no, this is a stay away. I don't know what's happening. Right. So I don't know. Nothing is normal. <laughs> so hopefully next week we can get back to it and and uh, you know with a, with a better yeah, we got a good feel. DJ's back. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we're in Brooks, it now. Brooks Kepler is back. Oh, oh gambling. Yeah, uh, money's up. Yeah. <laughs> That's happening now. I'm looking to see if uh, if old lefty is going to try it again. Oh, Rory's playing. playing. Oh, okay. Um, Colin Morikawa. Morikawa. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kevin Nah. They must all call each other. They must, yeah, they, right. must, they must be a group text with Brooks, yeah. hey, you playing, playing, Dustin. Playing, playing. You playing? Yeah. You're playing? I ain't playing. If you ain't playing, I ain't playing then. Yeah. <laughs> but they might have, you know, Dust, playing. Dustin been oh, winning so much, they might have took Dustin off the group text and be trying to decide. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't heard from nobody, but they're playing. You know what? I'm playing on Genesis. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Bleep y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brent Snedeker missed the cut, too. He's playing next week. Okay. Speef is playing as well. That's like three 
Does that three weeks in a row? Four no, weeks course, in a row Steve for Steve? Steve ain't got no yeah. choice. Yeah. 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 Get out there and play. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With these shoes. But I wondered how does, uh, <laughs> what, what is Puma doing with Ricky? Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want they that. giving Ricky the blues. So I actually just uh, saw, I think it was on Twitter, where, who was there? Ricky Fowler. Uh, Blair O'Neill and somebody and a few other people, they just did a whole new photo shoot for Puma. So, yeah, okay, yeah, Puma ain't letting Ricky go. No, yeah, yeah. tricky Ricky. I mean, here's the thing because Rick, Ricky's like his his stardom isn't really based on winning, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, sure. right. yeah. yeah. so th- they're like, well, I mean, you know, yeah. you made us a lot of money and hadn't won anything, and so now that you right. have you, you're going through a slump, we don't care. Right. You see yeah. little kids wearing his colors and his brim hats, and yeah. sometimes you see some Slap silly adults hats. doing the yeah. same thing. And yeah, then, about that. <laughs> but but they love it, you know. Yeah. And so he's 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 bringing that in. And I think uh, it's probably the farmers insurance sponsorship. If he has to worry about one for not winning, it might be that right. one. But again, yeah. he got it before. You know, it, none of it's really based on him. Yeah. being great. You yeah. know, and the rocket mortgage too. That was yeah, rocket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good point. So. I don't think it. Yeah, I think he's he he's. I think his stardom is just more of who he is, I guess. Mm-hmm. Than the ta- actually... tale of, tale of two two different conversations. Whether you're Under Armour trying to trying to dodge Spieth and stuff. So, because here's the best part: <laughs> Spieth walks in to the meeting, and then they in there and guess who in there? Uh, JT. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? I thought you were well, Paul. Oh no, <laughs> they dropped me after I dropped the F bomb. <laughs> right, I need a new sponsor. It's like, no, we're right. just talking to him. Yeah. We're just talking to him. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, you still, I, had, yeah. I had a, I had somewhat of a, of a uh, JT joke with that whole, you know, F word that I was going to ask the guy at I five. Uh, what is it? I, uh, I five iron. Five golf iron. Both. Uh-huh. But I just it was too. It was yeah. It was just too. Um, it was too soon. I didn't want to do soon. it. Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask if I would get kicked out for the team. But I didn't want to. It was just too soon. It was bad taste. I'm not a man of poor taste. But it's a funny joke. I mean, it is. Well, I think that word's a joke. I'm gonna get in trouble anyway. We gotta get out of this show. So, this, so this is twice now. The at situation the top, would be a joke. Not at, not at the, the top word. of the show and at the bottom of the show. Claude basically God. dribbles himself to the baseline. That's what we call baseline. Exactly. <laughs> Trying to call time out. Baseline. Yep. Yeah, and he got nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, him just. I mean, LB just looking at him like, where's he going? Like, I don't know where you're going with that. <laughs> Folks, we done. It's golf DMV. I take it easy. <laughs>